Hello guys and welcome to another Super Circuit Maker mini build. We're looking at doors again and it's because we have another system very much like this one if you remember where we have signal encoding and decoding to have a, we're sending a signal across a wire. This one is improved in one way and that's because the old method was very simple and could handle 255 in 255 individual addresses but they couldn't run at the same time this system can run eight addresses in the same wire at the same time so now i have only four here it's just it's the same thing over and over again if so missing three to six here so eight at the same time and uh, are you doing this in a single wire if you add a bundled wire of course you can have 16 times as many but th this is the basics and then you can use it after that i have two systems set up they are very similar this system will mask out the lowest bit first with the divider by the two and then look at the the leftover so we're divide, dividing with two every time and he, here are the four missing ones we need them for the system to be complete and in this one we're just masking out the highest bit first and the, we are com searching for the highest number 128 and then we're searching for 64 and 32 and so on all the way down to zero so bit 7 to zero here and bit 0 to 7 over here and they're very similar now i'll go through how they work but first let's take a look at the the encoding part so here and they are similar in the both so we'll just go through one of them as you know, in this system, you will have 0 to 255. We have 255 levels. That means we have a byte to work with. And that also means we have 8 bits. The lowest bit is 1. Then it's 2 and 4 and then 8, 16, 32, 64 and finally 128. Here we're adding the lowest bit. It will be a zero or one when this is turned on. Now it's zero and if you turn it on, we'll divide with itself and we'll get one. That signal will add with every step and then we'll come over here and then disappear because this is the lowest bit. Second part, and now we're doing this, just repeat this part, just change a constant here to 2 and 4 and 8 and so on all the way up to 128 we're dividing the signal that means that we'll have 1 here 1 times the constant will give the constant and that is added to the signal so 1 plus 2 is 3 and that means that we have the bit 0 and bit 1 if we remove the one, we'll only have two here, and then we'll have two here. So just do this over and over until we have, if you have all eight, then you will have up to 255 here. So now let's find what bit we have. In this one, this is a divider by two. So we're taking a look at the uh, Dividing with 2 and see if we have a leftover. And that is the bit we're searching for in that case. So we're taking the input signal, divide it with 2. And it's 2 all the time. 2, 2, 2, 2. So this is the same circuit just over and over again. Divide it with 2. This will give us 1. Since we are, well, we are above this value. We have two or higher, then we'll have one here. 
And if we have a really high value, well, then we'll have a much higher value. Okay. Multiply 2 with this one, and that will give us 2 here again. That 2, uh, let's say 2 minus 2 is 0, so nothing will happen here. But if we had the 1 here, well, then we have 3 here. And that means we have 1 here. So 2 times 1 is 2. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So then we have output signal. And this is true also if we have only the 1 here. Because then we have 1 here. But we'll get 0 here because 1 divided by 2 is 0. But we still have a signal here. So that means that we have 1 minus nothing and that's output signal so that means we can mask out every bit up to eight in a single wire and have them running at the same time sometimes they will toggle depending on uh, what combination you're you're doing so if we're adding yeah it's a little yeah, you can see. So sometimes it will glitch depending on because it's recalculating. But anyway, that's the first method. We're doing the LSB first, the least significant bit. And here we're doing the MSB first, the most significant bit. Encoding part is the same. And here we're doing, I think it's pretty much the same as I did in my first binary coded uh, decoder, binary decimal decoder, or whatever. Slightly simpler to explain. Um, so here we have, let's take a look at this. We're taking the f highest one first, bit 7, and we'll mask out here. 128 divided with 128, it means that we'll have 1. If we have any, oops, anything lower than that, then we'll have a zero here, because 4 divided with 128 is less than 1. And then we'll have nothing here. But now, 132, then we'll have plus here. And if we do have that, then we'll have 1 here as well, and multiply it with the, with the constant. And that means that if we have higher than 128 here, or 128 or higher, then we'll remove 128 from the signal. If we don't have it, then we'll remove 0 from the signal and we just pass it on. But now, we, since we have it, you see we have 4 here regardless of this is turned on and off. It's because we're removing it from 132. And same as the over here, we have a double torches to boost the signal because it will be very weak when it comes out here. So depending on what you will do, you might need these. If you just want to turn on a lamp like this, then you don't need a booster, but I added it for this. And then you're just doing the same thing over and over, adding the one, then you get the last one. And here are the missing ones. I need them in the system. I just took one of these and just placed them as a circuit. And basically that what is what you would do as well, of course. So here we're checking for, well, we're checking for 64, 32, 16, and 8 here. And just setting them on and we're looking for 4, 2, and 1. And they are encoded here. All right. So... To sum up, this is an improvement of the channel encoding decoding I did with the comparator because this is very simple and well it can be useful but it's also limited because you can only run one signal through it at a time. So you can open a door and close it, open another door or whatever you want to do with the signal 
over here oops like spike over here we can actually have two at the same time still in a single wire all right i hope that's useful i think it's quite it can be useful it's quite cool in either way i really hope you liked the video <laughs> i'll see you next time take care bye bye